sitting here. <laughs> Hi, Hi everybody. Hi Kin and GBS family, we're just missing you so so much and we decided there's a family just to do a clip to say hi from us yeah. and this lockdown is honestly now too long and we really have withdrawal symptoms. We're standing in the room where we had our last meeting, we're looking at the empty chairs and we are decreeing and declaring that this chairs will be filled up very very shortly. Hey Kari? Yes, definitely. I want to say to you, I believe they are saying, the powers of to be are saying that we are only going to be allowed to be 10 people at a time. And I don't know how we're going to do this, but let me tell you, that ain't going to stop us because we are going to move forward with great excitement. I know the Holy Spirit is still alive and he still wants to do something, 10, 15, 20 people. I believe even if it means that we're going to have shorter services, but more regularly, yeah, what we'll, we will we'll look, we'll, at we'll ways look at it. But I actually forward. want to say, you pray about it and you come back with some incredible inspirational ideas of how we're going to do this. And we are just putting it out there to say, we miss you so much and I wish you can all just come together and just for one more time. No, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, but we really, we really miss you. Our hearts are really um, just drawn to you. We're thinking about you and um, yeah, let's see how we're going to do it going forward. But I just want to encourage you um, as this lockdown is just going for almost a month that I want you to keep focus and there's actually quite a lot of people that have sent messages to us to say, Yuck, we're having bad dreams, we're having emotional attacks, some physical attacks and I really feel the enemy is just trying to distract us yeah. um, ongoingly because the enemy knows what God is doing or is busy doing behind the scenes in the spiritual realm on your behalf. So, but God needs your faith. God needs you to keep your faith active, to stand Amen. and pray and to be positive. And the enemy is just coming with arrows at this time, I feel, to really distract you and pull you almost like in a lull. Um, in the first two weeks, you know, everybody did their spring cleaning and, you know, unpack their cupboards and do Except all Anton. Except me, I haven't even got to that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just feel now that you've done most of your things repetitively, there's almost like a little lull that the enemy wants to pull people into. And I just want to say to you that um, God is wanting at this time to for you to keep focus and to, to push yourself to come into a Pentecostal alignment because it's the end of May, it's Pentecost. Yeah. And you know what they said and what Jesus said in Acts 2 is tarry in Jerusalem. So there was a waiting yes. while they are praying. It's not a passive thing, it's an active thing. While they are praying, while they are standing in unity, you you know, we're standing in unity with you, although we across the airwaves. Yes, and um, I just want to say, so, so, stay, so, so just keep focused. And in this waiting period, just be, just be positive and just focus on, on Pentecost and what God wants to do in terms of the outpouring of His Spirit. And I want to actually agree with Anton. I want to first of all say thank you for everyone that is... Um, Signed up for the prayer sheet. I know some of you might feel it's becoming a bit monotonous, but you know what? It was the continuous prayers of the ones in the upper room that has caused yes. the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that we've started with something and a lot of people have texted me and said, Kari, it is just so incredible. Thank you so much. It's exactly what I felt in my own private time, in my own quiet time. So I want to encourage you until we stop, if you would please pray, even if it means that your slot is with someone else's slot, but we are contending that God will yet again visit South Africa, will yet again do something unprecedented. And that's why we say this is what's going to happen before Pentecost. That's when we come together and we start contending and we start pounding heaven until hell loses its grip. And now is the time that we cannot let go. We cannot become slack, but we need to stand together. We need to stand together in faith, in prayer yes. remember there is no distance in the spirit that when we lock together our shields in the spirit yes, we will be able to pull down strongholds that no one else will be able to do yes. it is the kingdom age it is the time that we will see the outpouring of the holy spirit in an unprecedented way with Amen. one person two person ten people but what we can do that to, that will cause the bowls to tip is when we continue to pray in this prayer sheet i have not heard of anyone else that's been doing something like this so so I want to say thank you to everyone yes. that's praying, even those ones that's praying, praying behind the scenes. And I want to say again, we love you and we miss you. And I want to leave the scripture with you. Like Anton said, do not allow the enemy's fiery darts to come to your mind because yes. it's the time that when we are not busy, that the attacks on our mind is the one after the other. But I want to encourage you to put on the helmet of faith. 
put it on the helmet of salvation yes. sorry the helmet of salvation so that the fiery darts cannot come to you it is an active war that we are Absolutely. in it's not a time to just relax and eat ice cream even though that would be nice but i want to listen to the scripture i'm reading from romans 8 and i am in, in verse 26 and it says if you want to look romans 8 26 so too the holy spirit comes to your rescue and bears us up in our weakness so if there's any of you that currently feel, Lord, I feel weak in my faith because of what's going on, maybe the business, maybe your personal situation, your, your marriage, whatever your case might be, may you pray in tongues because it's when you pray in tongues, when you continually pray that the Holy Spirit will come to your rescue. So from this place here tonight, I prophesy to you, every person of Kingdom GPS, where we had our last meeting, I prophesy. Yeah. Yes. That the angels that were here will go from this yes, place amen. into your house yes. and will cause such a tumbling of down of the enemy's plans and purposes. And on your behalf tonight, we send them to your house and we prophesy and we decree and we declare that into your house, you will receive the amen. dunamis power yes, of the Holy Spirit. You will receive faith amen. to be able to stand in a time yes, such Lord. as this. Amen. Amen. So I hope this encourages you. We really, really miss you from our hearts. Yes. And um, going forward, we're going to look at creative ways just to stay in contact with you and um, just to do ministry together. And we are so proud of you. And we thank you for everybody's mm. messages. Yeah. And um, we and love we really you dearly. Miss you guys. Yes, we really. love you very much. It's so much. cold and empty without you. <laughs> But until we see one another again, we'll try to do another clip for you. But just to say that you've not, even if you're out of our sight, you're not out of our hearts. Yes, we bless you. Bless you.